Today is Monday. I had to change the name of my channel to Wendy's Diary. The reason why I changed the name of this channel is because I don't like it when people that I work with know what I do um, outside of work. Wait, my phone is ringing. Up it's a lower point. Yeah. So say some really low often. Um but I don't think if I'm saying it but yeah and then uh, but mainly is the reason those are international beyond and they don't want to look at your vacation mm. oh cold about blue light and a bit blue cool he said the Wednesday oh, okay sorry guys I'll be back now okay I want to use this throw this is my old throw from Zara home my couch is very plain, so I think this might add something. I think maybe I should put here. This side. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I'm just gonna leave it here for now. And I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna spray my favorite scent, my new scent, this one from Dr. Fringes. so much if you are looking for a new like a new scent highly highly recommend the scent it smells really beautiful um but yeah anyway i came here because i wanted to tell you guys that i had to change the name of my channel and the reason why i changed the name is because my co-workers keep on finding my channel and <laughs> it's so embarrassing yeah it's it's just very uncomfortable when people ask me at work about my youtube channel but i thought that maybe if i change the name then less people will find my youtube channel like it's only people who know me in person because i've never seen my like my my colleagues i i've never seen them in person so i think they can just tell by my voice that it's me um yeah because i don't even have like a profile picture on my teams or on my emails so nobody knows like my face um yeah but they keep on finding my youtube channel and it's just very uncomfortable and obviously i love this youtube channel and i, I would never delete it um so i think yeah so i just thought that maybe if i change the name to wendy's diaries it maybe less people will find my channel um yeah but nothing else is changing it's just the name i hope you guys don't mind it's just the name nothing else is changing i'm still gonna be posting the same things so yeah today is another vlog and guys we finished the room makeover yesterday it's so beautiful i'm really really happy with how it looks i feel so accomplished and it's just really this is my vibe if you know me you know how much i love these colors like green this is a very dark green some people thought it was gray but guys i would never do that i don't like gray this is a very dark green and i did mention i finished filming the the room makeover video yesterday i did mention that we still need to paint the ceiling i think it's gonna be a third coat um on the ceiling and yeah we ran into some issues the first issue we had with the ceiling is that when we went to get them um, when we went to get more paint 
the color changed i don't know how but i think the lady who was assisting us was new because she was just confused with how the, the um, that machine works i also don't know how it works but i could tell that she was confused because she kept on saying the machine is not working the machine is not working and when we started painting we realized that the color is not the same like it's much darker now but thank god it's only on the on the ceiling and you guys can't tell but i can tell like if i'm looking at it like right now the ceiling is a very dark like brownish color yeah it doesn't really bother me but yeah it's not the same color yeah and there's nothing we can do about it my boyfriend said we should just repaint the whole like the whole room but i'm not sure how i feel about that because this color it doesn't have that tint of green that i like so i don't think we'll do that we'll just leave the roof i mean we'll leave the ceiling um as it is we won't paint the entire room um but yeah anyway it took us three weeks to finish this room makeover and yo i was so over it i was so exhausted i didn't want to do it anymore but yeah at the end it was worth it it's so beautiful and i'm really really happy with it so yesterday i went well i didn't go i asked my boyfriend to get it for me he went to get his haircut and i asked him to go to zara home and check something that i wanted to get I quickly get it for you guys and show you Okay, it's so heavy. From Zara Home, okay, this thing is very heavy. Whew. If you've been watching my recent videos, you might have seen me buying something like this. The exact same thing, but a smaller, smaller, a smaller version. So, two weeks ago, this bowl was 1.3, 1.4 and yesterday it was a thousand rands <sighs> so this is the bowl i got you guys it's so so big this is massive like you see how big it is next to my head it was two thousand rands and um they reduced it to 1.3 um and then they reduced it again to a thousand rands but yeah this is from zara this is from zara home and it's the same ball as this one this is i'm sure you guys still remember this one also got it from zara home i got it maybe like a month ago i got it on sale i think this one was 800 rands on sale and i've shown you guys this one before but yeah it's basically the same bowl but um, in a bigger bigger size. It's very textured, as you guys can see. It's stunning, really love it. I think for now, I'm gonna put it here. <laughs> this is my new baby. Please, my Shishi. Hi, baby. Hello. Hello. Hello, my I'm not sure how I feel about a hanging light fixture. I just feel like it's going to be competing with that one. And I don't want that. So I think for now, we'll keep the boob light um, until we get something better. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to tidy up and get ready for work. find my I cannot find plasters so I'm just using this <laughs> it's so painful anyway I just got my order from this I I just quickly need to make a cup of coffee guys I cannot start my day without coffee so yeah I just need to make coffee I order from this app called quench um, so I got like three things I got my soya milk powder i cannot drink coffee without this 
this this milk and I got my stevia and then I got these pills these are um, I always need to have these okay Charles is very hungry but his food is coming I had to place an order on checkers so I ordered uh, dry food dry cat food and what else did I buy I ordered a very small packet because they don't like that brand anymore I don't know why and checkers only has that brand well they have other brands but I think the best brand is that one the whiskers brand um, so I ordered a very like a very small packet of dry food and then um, later on we'll buy the, um, the, um, the dry food from Hills because that's the one they like that's the brand they they currently like yeah anyway I'm going to make a cup of coffee yeah anyway I was saying I'm very like I'm very much addicted to these pills and I know it's not good for you but these are the only pills that work for me and my issue now is I'm in pain every morning because of my tooth I don't know what's going on with it I, um, I think I just need to get a root canal because I did go to the dentist um, I'm drinking painkillers every day and it's not good for you and I feel like even my system rejects like other pills like other painkillers I also started taking these ones sorry about this weird angle I started taking these ones because we haven't renovated our bathroom and I don't like I feel like I'm using a public bathroom <laughs> a public toilet and I'm just not yeah I'm, I'm not comfortable using like public toilets so there's so many ways you can get a yeast infection but I try to prevent it as much as I can so I know one of the one of the one of the causes is your like using a public public toilet and I feel like I'm using a public toilet every day because we haven't renovated our bathroom so yeah I cannot wait until we renovate this bathroom so that I can sit and be comfortable in my in my toilet Yeah, that's about some more SPCA. I'm on lunch break. My Amazon order is still not here. I also wanted to tell you guys something because I always get questions about this. Whenever I post something that I got from Facebook Marketplace, I always get so many questions um, on my Instagram home account. Uh, I think that maybe some people do not understand how facebook marketplace works some people like ask me to send them a facebook marketplace link and i'm always so confused because if you have facebook then you have facebook marketplace i think that maybe some people do not understand how like facebook marketplace works i use it every day like i'm always on facebook marketplace and it's very simple to use so let me put you guys here because this is currently my favorite spot in the house so you guys will be tired of me i'm so sorry <laughs> People always say I have a different Facebook marketplace and I need to share a link and guys we all have the same Facebook marketplace I think Facebook marketplace works like you know your explore your Instagram explore page I think it works like that if you are always searching for maybe cats your explore page will be full of cats um so i think facebook marketplace works like that so they have like almost the same algorithm you can find anything on facebook marketplace it's basically like a hub where people like sell things you can find anything so it just depends on what you are always like searching for for example i'm always searching for um maybe brass um always searching for antiques so that is basically what i always see on my like home landing page or my timeline it's basically always the same thing i'm gonna show you guys just now i have load shedding in one minute um but I'm gonna open my Facebook so you just need to create a Facebook account and that's it so Facebook marketplace is this tab 
this is the Facebook Marketplace tab, this one. So there's no special link, there's no, you don't need to do anything special like to, to join. If you click on this thing, on this, on this tab, then it takes you to Facebook Marketplace. So right now I'm currently looking for cast iron, cast iron uh, furniture and I am struggling to find something within my budget because my budget is very tight. I'm not... Okay, the power is gone. I don't want to spend more than 2,000 rands. So, yeah, I'm still looking for something. Maybe around 1.5. Because um, it's used furniture, so I don't want to spend a lot. And I don't want something new. I want something used. Um, but custom furniture is very, very expensive. So, yeah. But I'm not in a rush. I'm patient. Um, yeah, I'm going to wait until I find something within my budget and yeah something that I like within my budget um, but yeah anyway I wanted to show you guys what I found this time on Facebook marketplace this is something I wasn't actually looking for I saw this video um, this YouTube video uh, on the AD YouTube channel they posted this this interior designer I love that guy so much he's so good I'm gonna show you guys the video here if you're interested you can go and watch it we ended up changing the shower quite a bit not only did we make the opening much much larger we ended up doing French doors so that it played off with her Parisian aesthetic that she really likes we wanted to tie the rest of the bathroom to the shower as well so we ended up doing the same Calcutta Monet in here. It came out really beautiful. I'm really excited to show her. Uh, but he was basically renovating some ladies' uh, bathroom. And guys, he did an amazing job. It was so beautiful. I love the marble that they used. I, I love everything. The doors, they did French doors, which was what made me go and face marketplace and look for what I'm going to show you now. So instead of like the normal like shower door opening, they did French doors and I fell in love with the French dolls it was so beautiful you guys need to watch that video it's honestly the most beautiful shower opening I've seen so far it's so beautiful so I went on Facebook marketplace and I searched for what did I search I searched for brass um, brass door handles or something I don't remember and I found this how stunning is this you guys look at this beautiful brass i love the detail it's so so beautiful so these are brass door handles and i want to use them for the shower doors the guy who was selling these said he got these like 20 years ago but he never got the chance to like use them or install them but yeah this is super heavy i'm i'm sure this is like 5 kgs because it's so heavy and i paid 420 yeah i paid 420 the guy was selling it for i think i think it was 450 and i tried to negotiate to 350 but he was like nope this is brass and i'm not gonna give you this for 350 so yeah i was just trying my, my luck um but yeah i managed to get these and i'm so happy I'm really really happy with them i'm gonna enjoy my lunch break now I have 30 minutes left so i'm gonna enjoy my lunch break and i will see you guys later <sighs> my order is here i'm a bit worried because it's only one box it's only one box and oh, I like description here. Description here and the phone for sure on day one. Yeah, very but no, I think there's all two, so Yeah, I can't get one. Huh. <sighs> like why be let on a piece piece and that's a scare. <sighs> I'm not sure if this is the right colour. Because of that error that they made on the on the on the app, so I hope it's the right color. Otherwise, guys, I'm gonna be so upset. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna put you guys here. Okay. 
if you guys can see but it's supposed to this is how it's supposed to look like and i ordered this on the um, on amazon i love it i love the shower head it's so big um so the other one is still coming i guess because it shows that um i ordered this on the same day so i'm not sure why the other one is taking this long it shows on the app that it's still coming but yeah this is how it looks you guys it's so so beautiful and it also it's very big it's quite big so now we need the diverter i've been struggling to find um i've been struggling to find the diverter the three-way diverter i'll insect a picture to show you guys which one i want but i've been struggling to find it so i think i'm just gonna because the, the one I saw on Amazon is very expensive. So I think I might as well just buy it here. I think I'm going to buy it. Um, I'll buy it from Victorian bathrooms because they do have. Um, and it's almost the same price. The one from Amazon, I think it's around 5K. And I need two because we're getting a double shower. I did tell you guys. Not getting the, the body. So I decided to just go for like a con. I think it's called a concealed shower. Because the other one is called... Um, what is it called an exposed shower so i'm not getting the the body because it's gonna be very expensive so if it's was normal this will turn out even <laughs> this will make i just know every money it's fine because the diabetes was in the main and he had the detail and like the statement yeah yeah so it's fine this was supposed to be delivered on the 14th 
of um of march on my birthday but it came early today is the um, is the 6th of march so the other one is scheduled to be delivered on the 15th which doesn't make sense to me because i ordered this on the same day like it was just one like one order so i don't know why they had to separate uh, my orders i'm really happy with it you guys it's so so beautiful it's so beautiful i can't wait like in my mind guys i can already like i have this picture of my bathroom and uh, i'm so happy and i haven't shown you guys the um, well no i'm not gonna tell you i'm not gonna tell you this you guys will see once 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 we get there i'm gonna watch youtube videos and i'm not sure if there's anything else i'm gonna do today or maybe should i end this vlog because i'm not sure how much footage i have oh actually i want to show you guys the picture of the um, the picture that i saved on my on my i'm not not on my on my pinterest board i was thinking of something like this like an opening like this I was thinking of an opening like this but obviously our um, our shower is not exposed like this one and then because yeah initially i just wanted a basic shower like this um with just this uh, frame frameless glass but i think i've been seeing this everywhere yeah i changed my mind i'm going for something different so let me show you guys the diverter that i'm looking for okay, this is a two-way diverter so okay this is just an example of what i want so this one so this one is a two-way diverter you can customize yours so for example i want i want mine to be to be wall mounted and then i want the finish to be polished brass um between 2.9 to 4.6 mine is going to be 3.5 the boring part about this is that you have to wait for these things because this one it says the lead time is six to eight weeks which is a very long time like it's a very long time also i'm still waiting for my toilet set i ordered a toilet set from antique bathrooms i'm still waiting you guys it's been i think it's been over a month now and i think i'm gonna call them tomorrow and find out because when i ordered they said they said it was gonna take a week and it's been over a month now so yeah i don't know what's going on so i need to call them tomorrow and find out but um yeah anyway i'm gonna find a youtube video to watch Nobody wants it. 